friends, welcome back to my channel. A happy Easter to you. Today, I am sharing the contents of my fortune cookie soap Easter box that I purchased this year. I tend to find for me with fortune cookie soap, I really enjoy their Easter box and their Halloween box. Um, they didn't do a traditional advent calendar this past Christmas, but I tend to find that I'm not really into the advent calendar. Don't really know why, but I'm just not, which is probably good for my wallet. But this year's Easter theme was trolls. It's the Dance and Sing 2021 Easter box. So let's go ahead and unpack this together, shall we? So the very first item that was in my box was in this lovely bag, and it looks to be a like I think like an eye mask I thought you would wear it with the plastic touching your face but maybe I'm wrong I'm not well versed on these I don't really know how to use them but it is super fun and I do like it when they toss in like one non body care item one of my favorite things I got I think it was in a Halloween box a while ago was this fortune cookie soap tumbler, which I happen to have here organically because I use this thing all the time and I wouldn't have labeled myself a tumbler person, but I love this. So I do enjoy when they toss in those other types of items and this, while not something I normally feel myself wanting or needing to use, I'll definitely give it a try and see how I feel. All right, let us move into the body care items. First thing that we have in here is a lip soap, which I'm super happy about. This is called Perfect Harmony. Um, I think that there was like an uproar in enough of the Facebook groups that I'm in for this particular product that Forge Cookie Soap decided to bring it back. So they brought it back with their Golden Girls box, which is when I purchased it in the full collection, just simply to be like, no, 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 this is a product you should keep making. And I'm very happy to see it here in this box. I'm not, hmm. I'm not needing whip soap right now, but I will need it at some point and I'm super happy to have it in this box. Scents in this are Prosecco, Peach, Magnolia, and Musk. That's awesome and I love the two coat, like tones. It looks like cotton candy. Really pumped for this. Another tubbed item, I do love tubs. This is called the Bright Side. It's their mineral face mask. I've mentioned this a couple of times in other unboxings where I don't really use Forge Cookie Soap skincare when it comes in these boxes. The one exception to that rule has been face masks. I don't know why, but the face masks tend to have a positive response on my skin. Hmm, interesting. Let's see what the notes of this one read. This has mandarin, peach, and tropical mango. A lot of fruit focus in this collection. One thing I really like about these boxes is that we oftentimes get the scent note description before placing the order. That's partly why I tend to skip over the advent calendar because the scents collectively don't really register with me, but for whatever reason, Halloween and Easter, they always really have good scent profiles and a lot of juicy fruits were in this one. Keeping on with my potted products, this is the O oh Snap Lip Mask. I have not had the greatest of luck with their lip masks because I find that I, you can kind of see as I tried to dig in here, it is really hard for me to get product on my finger and then onto my lips. So I don't know if this one will survive very long in my collection, but the notes of this read vanilla batter, strawberries, sugar, and raspberries, and then a few soft florals. That sounds really awesome as a scent. I wish it weren't in this mask and something different, but we'll give it a try and if it doesn't work, I'll just declutter it. Our last potted product is another one of my favorite formulas from Porch Cookie Soap, and it is the whipped cream. This is called Cupcakes and Rainbows, and it is dual tone, so I have yellow and I have pink. Ooh, which might mean it's two different scents. Mmm, smells yummy. What are the profile notes? So in this, I've got berries, apricots, sugar, almond cream, and vanilla macarons. That sounds great. Really, really big fan of that. And again, texturally, that's my favorite lotion product that they put out. Onto the less exciting fronts. This um, is one of the dual phase perfume oils. I think it leaked a little bit. It's in Trollstis. This scent smells really good, which is such a shame because I officially don't need any more perfume oils. I don't need to mix with lotion anymore. And I don't texturally like the oils. I just feel like they don't absorb very well into my skin. They kind of have a greasy little texture. I'm just not a fan of it. So I'll probably pass this on to somebody else. But again, that scent, Ooh, it smells so good. It's described as rose. Of course, I love it because it has rose in it. 
Freesia, uh, Cattley Orchid, and then Amber with Vanilla, Mango, and Strawberry. That's super nice. Mm, that might be something if it were like a shower gel or a soap. Oh, I would so, so enjoy that. Our product that I can't smell is the True Colors Bath Bomb. Ordinarily, I would say this wasn't my most exciting product, but your girl is still taking baths to help sort of deal with sore muscles and still a sore tailbone from literally falling down the stairs. I wanna say two months ago at this point, tailbones, they are the hardest ones to heal. The notes of this read morning dew, citrus zest, soothing sandalwood, and cotton candy essence. That sounds great. Probably gonna put this into my next bath. Ooh, here's another item that might be a miss for me. It's called Glitter Farts. It's the Hair and Body Shimmer Mist. Nope, I don't see myself having a lot of need for this, but the scent of it is sweet blue agave, pear nectar, and coconut blossoms, along with berry, cantaloupe, and sweet sugar cane. It smells good, but not a product that I will probably incorporate into my life. I've got Party Pooper, this is a toilet spray. This is basically like the equivalent to Poopery, but I feel like it works way better than Poopery ever did without having to smell like aggressively minty. For the set description, it's got black grapes, orange, black plum, berries, apple, and pineapple to get rid of all of those Party Pooper vibes. Yes, please. Oh, this is a fun one. This is the Lady Glitter Sparkles Body Wash, and it looks like it's got legitimate glitter particles in there. Very curious. I think their body wash formula is okay. I like a lot of the scents that they come out with, but I just feel like it's very, it's like a very thin formula and I really like sort of the thickness of Bath & Body Works formulas because I feel like it really does like stick to your skin as you're rubbing it and I like the effect of that. I don't feel the exact way about this, but it's a small one and I'll probably finish it up pretty fast. Notes of this are apricot, pink peonies, and praline. Yummy, yummy combo of scents. Also included a Hug Time OCD sanitizer. I'm really a big fan of hand sanitizers. I'm using them a lot these days, and I feel like the sample sizes last a pretty long time. Notes of this are orange mingle, pink mimosa, and night blooming jasmine. Nice. I really love the floral notes that they've included in here. That really spoke to me. I'm not the biggest fan of fruit, but these fruits are really up my alley and ones that I like. And then the final item that we have is a hair oil. This is the Hair We Go Argan Hair Shine Serum. I love that this is not a super large size because I very slowly move through hair oils. I definitely think I wanna try with some of the hair oil that I have to using oil as a mask. I got that tip in my comment section, I think years ago at this point, and I never actually tried it because I had so many hair masks to use up. But now that I'm getting low on my supply and maybe don't wanna purchase one just yet, I might try oil first. I don't think I would try this because the sample is so small I probably would whip through it, but exciting to try out. I don't think I've ever tried something like this from Fortune Cookie Soap. Notes of the final product read, juicy strawberries, whipped buttercream. Ooh, that sounds very yummy. I hope that that scent lingers. I will say any of the other hair products that I've had from Fortune Cookie Soap, my hair literally smells like I've put perfume in it, which I personally love and everybody loves that. So I'm hoping that hair oil based on those scent notes also sticks in my hair because that sounds super, super yummy. All right, guys, that is it for me and all of these awesome goodies. Overall, I think this box is awesome. It did not disappoint. Only a couple of items in here that aren't my favorite, but it's not a big deal because the majority of them are great. And I thought it was a very nice Easter bunny treat from the little fortune cookie soap fairies. I so appreciate you hopping over to my channel today, and I hope that you're having a fabulous Easter if you celebrate. I'll talk to you in my next video real soon.